Let's move on now. The barrister and part-time judge Constance Briscoe has been found guilty of three counts of perverting the course of justice. Ms Briscoe had denied lying to police who were investigating claims that the former Energy Secretary Chris Hewn had swapped speeding points with his wife. She'll be sentenced tomorrow. Clive Coleman has a story. Constance Briscoe, barrister, author and part-time judge, now a convicted criminal. Her reputation lies in ruins. Briscoe's fall occurred because she helped her friend Vicky Price get press coverage about how she'd taken speeding points for her husband, Chris Hewn. Briscoe then lied about her involvement to police. She'd wanted to help bring down Hewn, but the couple were both jailed for perverting the course of justice. In an extraordinary twist, Briscoe was also charged over lies she'd told as she attempted to cover her tracks. In her role as a barrister and recorder judge, if anyone should have understood the crucial importance of preserving public justice, it should have been Constance Briscoe. How come she's so ugly, ugly, ugly? And there may be more to come. In 2006, she published the book Ugly, in which she claimed that as a child, she'd been subjected to extreme physical and mental abuse by her mother, Carmen. In 2008, her mother sued and lost a costly libel case. I've been given papers that Constance Briscoe submitted in support of her legal battle against her mother. The doctor's letters, which she said supported her claim that she'd been physically abused, but now there are concerns that some of these letters may not be genuine. We've passed them to the police who are now investigating. In an exclusive BBC interview, Carmen Briscoe said she wants her reputation restored. I think she'll come and say, Mum, I'm sorry. And I'm waiting for that. That's what I'm fighting for. I'm not fighting for money. I'm not fighting for anything. All I want is a truth. Whatever questions are raised by the new police investigation, a woman who once sat in judgment on others now faces an almost certain custodial sentence of her own. Clive Coleman, BBC News.